salary man. Like, like money or like the vegetable seller? Welcome back to CISM. I'm Lola. I'm Nagita. We're gonna play a really fun little game. We're gonna test each other on some idioms and slang in English and and Jap 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 English. English. Japanese, Japanese English. So for the English, we have it from a few different cultures. We're gonna do some British English, some Canadian English, and some American English. And I'm going to attempt to figure out what Nagisa's words mean, and she's going to attempt to figure out what the English idioms mean. The first word I have here is, in, in Japanese, it's salaryman, but in English, actually, it's salaryman. Oh. What do you think that means? Salaryman? Yes, salaryman. Like, like money or like the vegetable salary? No, sal the money salary. The money, the money. <laughs> <laughs> um, salaryman. Mm -hmm. Someone who makes a lot of money? Good guess, good guess. Yes, so if I say my dad is a salary man, doesn't mean my dad makes a lot of money. If I say my dad is a salary man, he's just a regular businessman. Okay, so... Yeah. Is man it, who receives salary. It's like a salary man. Is it like specific to businessmen then? Or like any occupation? It could be any, like office worker, it could be, yeah. Someone who brings home the bacon. Mm -hmm. So we are going to look at some British idioms first. Mm -hmm. And the first one I have for you is happy as Larry. Happy as Larry. Is Larry a name of a person? Yeah, Larry's a male name. Larry. Happy as Larry. I'm sure, I'm sure it, it means someone's really happy. Yeah, no. yeah, it does actually. It just means to be like, really happy. Why is there Larry? Uh, apparently there was a boxer or someone named Larry and he won a big fight and the newspapers wrote a headline that said happy oh. as Larry. And it's like stuck as a thing to be happy as Larry. Nice. I think that's nice. what happened. But technically it could be anyone, right? Yeah, like you could <laughs> say about anyone. You could say your dog's happy as Larry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one's interesting. So in, in, in Japanese uh, accent, it's naive. But in English accent, it's naive. So there's a word naive, right? Yeah. But it means a completely different, um, it has a completely different meaning in, in Japanese mm. word naive. So if I say, oh, she's so naive, what do you think that means? Well, I would have just guessed the English meaning had you not said that. So <laughs> if it's completely different, I don't know, I'm just going to go the opposite side then. She's she's very experienced and worthy. Oh, good guess. But it means sensitive, pure, delicate and innocent. So it's in a positive way. It's a very common mistake to make when, when you first uh, learning English, you could say you have a naive skin. That means your skin is sensitive. Oh, really? Oh, that's interesting. You can use it as like an adjective for yes, something definitely. other than a person. Uh -huh. How do you say it in Japanese? Naive. Naive. Mm -hmm. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Our next British idiom, and this one does get used in places other than the UK, mm -hmm. but is over the moon. <laughs> Over the moon. He was over the moon about the job promotion. Oh, he was so happy. He could fly to the moon. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Was, I think I've heard of that one before. So the next one is mansion. So Japanese is mansion, but it's a it's the English word is mansion. And I'm what do you know? Guessing do you, you don't mean just like a house? How would you use it in Japanese, like a sentence? It's, it's I live in mansion. But a lot of people, like in, especially in like big cities, they live in a mansion. Uh, an apartment bed? It's a, yeah. It's really? Like, yeah, correct, yeah. All right, moving on to the next one. So we're going to try a Canadian slang word now. Snowbirds. Snowbird, is that a type of a bird? Snowbirds. Does it have anything to do with a bird? With Good a... guess, but it doesn't actually have anything to do with birds. Is it like snow angel? I like the idea of that. Yeah. <laughs> so a snowbird is actually a term used to refer to Canadians that fly south for the winter. 
household. Just generally retirees who want to get away from the Canadian winters that are so cold. Mm -hmm. And they might go to the south of the US mm -hmm. or Mexico or the Caribbean for a few months to enjoy the winter in the sun before heading back up to Canada. I want to be a snow snowbird. Snowbird. snowbird when I retire. Thanks so much for watching and joining us here today at CISM. Woo! <laughs> be sure to like, subscribe and follow and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!